Hello everyone and I have one more very instructive chess game to show you. In this chess game we have one of the leading Soviet chess players at the time, Mark Taimanov, and his opponent Alexander Shashkin. And this chess game was played in 1978 and this is a must see notable attacking chess game. So let's see what happened. Uh, you also know that uh, Taimonov was one of the opponents of Bobby Fischer in the candidates in 1971 and he famously lost to Bobby Fischer 6, six to nothing. Uh, so let's see, but he was of course a very strong chess player. Uh, he was very unlucky against Bobby Fischer as well. So knight to f3, knight to f6 and we have the ready opening. So b3, d5 and developing the pieces and we have Nimzovich Larsen. So h3, bishop takes on f3, queen takes on f3, developing the knight and then g4, developing the bishop g5, knight in, pawn up, castling, and then d3, knight from e to c5, knight to d2, a5, a3. So let's forward to the critical moment of this chess game. Capturing the pawn, e takes, bishop takes, and then c5, knight takes, knight to c4, knight to b3, attacking the rook. So most definitely defending the rook comes to mind and this is the critical moment of this chess game. Uh, instead of defending the rook, Taimanov played an incredible move. He played bishop to d3 and sacrificing the exchange. What a move! And we have bishop to c5 defending the bishop but let's see what happens if capturing the rook. Well white has the power of the bishop here. So bishop takes on a1 and you can see both of the bishops is aiming the king and if defending the bishop we can sacrifice the bishop just like this and white has a very good compensation. So if king takes we have queen in and how to defend now. Defending is difficult. So uh, Alexander Sheshkin saw all this and he played bishop to c5 not capturing the rook. So uh, bishop to c3 and we have b5 and it is white to move. Now Taimanov decided to sacrifice his bishop. Bishop takes on h7, the Greek gift. So king takes on h7 and then check and what is the follow up? Now white is running out of attacking material. Well, Taimonov sacrificed the second bishop. Bishop takes on g7, double Greek gift. <laughs> I don't know if there's something like that, but we can say that this is double Greek gift. Let's uh, put it that way. So how to defend the checkmate threat, queen to h8, checkmate. So king takes and after checking the king and truly we can say that white is running out of attacking material. White is running out of ammunition. So what is the continuation? How to win? What would you do in this position? So you most definitely can checkmate the king with only one queen in this position. So g6 of course this is the move and threatening checkmate on h7 we have knight to f6 defending with the knight capturing the pawn is uh, this has fatal consequences for the black uh, black king uh, black is basically getting checkmated by force rook to g1 and king to f7 and getting checkmated in one move after king to f7 so knight to f6 but it is white to move now this is very important not every move is winning in this position you have to be careful so which move is the winning move now i'm going to show you which move doesn't work uh, g7 is a very tempting move now uh, attacking the rook and also threatening checkmate but black is su surprisingly defending very well after knight to h7 and after capturing the rook okay what is next Black is defending well and uh, white lost so much material and how do you win after this position after checking the king king over and there is nothing for white. Okay so in this position after knight to f6 pushing the pawn which is a very tempting move doesn't work because uh, knight to h7 and defending what would you do in this position it is white to move and win. Okay, did you see the move? The move is rook to g1 and I find this move a very elegant move, very beautiful move and this is a different story. 
Now this time after pushing the pawn, uh, after capturing the rook, it is going to be discovered check, double check, checkmate. So knight to h7 doesn't work in this position. Okay, so Sheshkin played queen takes on d5 and after g7 by Mark Taimanov, black resigned. There is no sensible defense in this position. So this rook to g1 move was a very beautiful move by Taimanov. So the possible continuation, capturing the rook, capturing the rook, discovered check, double check, check, mate. Beautiful, isn't it? And this time knight to h7 doesn't work as well because of capturing the rook, discovered check, double check, Check mate. Very beautiful by Mark Taimanov. And thank you so much for watching. And I might also continue Bobby Fischer's uh, candidate match against my, Mark Taimanov in the future, in the near future, in these days. So stick around. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Stay safe, take care, and bye bye.